Hi guys, Darth Deuces here, back on our Star Wars figure review, but today something a bit different, a bit more special. Uh, I don't usually review uh, Hot Toys on the channel, I just there's a lot of much better Hot Toys reviewers out there that you can watch. Um, but this one I think was pretty special to me and is a pretty recent release, so I thought I'd give it a video because I really like it. And it's the brand new uh, Hot Toys Clone Commander Scorch from the Bad Batch. Uh, Hot Toys exclusive. Uh, I was able to get one of these. Um, this is a limited piece from Hot Toys. I want to say there was only 3,000 units made, but I'm not sure if that act number is actually correct or not. Um, but yeah, I was able to get one of these. I actually had a got was able to get a pre-order in with Sideshow, um, but uh, I actually ended up getting this from a Hong Kong reseller overseas. Uh, toys buying agents. I'm not sponsored or anything. Just I've bought a lot of hot toys from that seller at this point and really good uh, Seller really fast shipping really well priced shipping and their prices I think are pretty decent considering I ended up canceling my sideshow order to get this because not only did I get this right away instead of potentially waiting months uh, It was actually technically slightly cheaper even after forfeiting the sideshow non-refundable deposit It was still slightly cheaper in the end of the day than buying from sideshow when being in Canada anyways So uh, yeah, I decided just to go ahead and pick them up um, Maybe I'll do some more hot toys reviews so if you want to see if anyone wants to see more hot toys reviews I can maybe go back and review some stuff. I've gotten throughout the last few years. But anyways, we're here to talk about Scorch, so let's do it. I just wanna show the box real quick. So there's some cool pictures of Scorch there. Uh, the Hot Toys exclusive sticker, or is that a sticker? I think it's a sticker, it's pretty cool. And you've got the little art there on the side and on the corner there. Pretty standard Star Wars Hot Toys box, not too much else going on. So I'm going to First, lay out the accessories and we'll take a look at those first. I just think that's a little easier way to do things. So first, taking a look at the accessories. Uh, Scorch, he comes with a decent amount of stuff. Um, not a ton. Uh, I'll get into some of that in a bit. But enough where I'm not super complaining about the, the, the accessories. Definitely isn't the weakest part of the figure. Um, but you do get a pretty standard Star Wars display base. The rectangular base with the nameplate Clone Commander Scorch there. It is just this kind of like... Star Destroyer, like, base, um, kind of, uh, display base that I think has been used for multiple figures, but I do like this. I'm glad they didn't go with that sandy base with the footprints. I don't like that one. Uh, but this one's pretty good. It has some nice painted detail on it. Looks pretty cool. You do get some hand options. The figure, I forgot to take them off the figure, but he does have two just normal, like, open, relaxed hands that he comes with on, in the package. You also get a pair of trigger finger hands for his weapons. You get a right open splayed out hand, and then you get a left pointing finger. They're all painted pretty nicely with some nice little weathering on it. Um, but I do think maybe they could have included some more hand options, a pair of closed fists, and maybe a thumbs up hand, because he actually does thumbs up in the video game. Um, it would have been nice, as well as a gauntlet that had the ejected uh, vibro blade. would have been really cool. Um, but as you'll see, and a big kind of controversy, I guess, I don't know if that's the right word, controversy, I guess that was what I'll say for the figure, is the fact that it's not really accurate to any media depiction that the characters had. Um, it takes elements from all of them, but doesn't actually commit to one of the looks. Um, but yeah, having some more handoffs, I think would have been nice. You also do get the backpack. The backpack is pretty cool. It is very similar to the backpack used on Hunter, uh, as this figure is, um, you're doing a lot of reuse from the hunter body that I do have. Actually, I will compare them. But the backpack is nicely sculpted and painted. Some pretty nice details there. On this all throughout the figure, you'll see the nice little subtle weathering. That looks pretty nice. It does actually function. You can, if I can get it open here. You can actually open it. You can store stuff in there. And you can actually probably store all the extra hands that you're not using in here. That's what I do with hunter. Um, so uh, that's cool that actually functions, but you'll see he does actually also come with these two bits and they are magnet magnetized and they are also coded so you can tell where they're supposed to go and they have pretty strong magnets actually. These aren't falling off easily and those attach to actually give you a more game accurate backpack, which is pretty cool. I don't really have too many complaints there. So you do get the two options in the Bad Batch. I'm pretty sure it was just this backpack. 
but if you want the Clone Wars or game look, you can go like this, and this is how I'm gonna display it. It looks a lot cooler, um, a lot more unique, so that's very nice. And then his weapon options, you do get a couple of detonators. You get the half detonator that they use like to put on the walls and stuff, which is pretty nice. And then you get the full detonator. These are nice. These are like staple accessories. I think like almost every Clone Wars figure that they've released has come with this. these. Most of the Jedi and most of the clones come with those. So if you collect them, you probably have a ton of those already. You do also get the clone commando blaster rifle that we've seen multiple times now. And this is nicely painted and sculpted. I do really like this accessory quite a bit. You can remove the magazine or clip or whatever. This is supposed to be energy battery thing. I don't know. Um, that's cool. You can remove that. But one really baffling thing that they didn't do is they did not give you the option to have the anti-armor attachment that is signature to Scorch. And the crazy thing is they pre this accessory has existed since Hunter came out, which I think was like at the end of 2022. So over a year now and like a year and a half. And they pre-sculpted it, like pre-engineered it to be able to remove this to do a, the attachment swapping, but they just didn't do it for this figure. And it would have been super easy. I think all they had to, they'd have to do is just make another piece like this that just slots on and then you probably have to remove the magazine to make it fit but that's it other than that it would have been easy so i really don't know why they didn't do that especially when his last accessory they sculpted a whole new pistol they give you the commando pistol from the game which is super cool this was honestly a decently big selling factor for me i think it's the only official clone commando figure to come with this i don't think any of the hasbro ones officially come with this accessory or any other or in the black series one didn't so this is cool it is really nicely painted and sculpted um but i don't get why they were down to sculpt a whole new pistol accessory but couldn't sculpt the new uh, attachments for the blaster i can live with maybe not having the uh, hand with the uh, interchangeable uh wrist blade even that would have been really cool but yeah it's really kind of questionable so the accessories you come with is good but definitely could be a lot better Anyways, now let's take a look at the figure himself. Now the figure itself, I have the backpack on him and he has the uh, open palm hand right now. And uh, I gotta say, uh, I hate to say it, even with significant, I would say, decently significant inaccuracies, I suppose, uh, I still really like this figure a lot. I, I just think it's so cool to have this character in Hot Toys. This is a character that honestly maybe thought probably would never get a Hot Toys figure. Um, I absolutely love Republic Commando and I love the all the characters of uh, um, Delta Squad, but Scorch especially. Um, I like them all pretty equally. It was, you know, Scorch, I think Boss and Scorch are my two favorites out of the entire bunch. And uh, yeah, I think this figure still looks really cool, but there are inaccuracies to consider. I know for some people that's going to be a deal breaker and I honestly don't blame you for that. These figures are really expensive. So if you, want it to be as accurate as possible and doesn't meet those expectations i totally get that but taking a closer look at the head, head sculpts this is they did a com one commando once before they have done the camino clone with the gray markings there is some differences in sculpts with this figure um but the helmet is not one of them which makes sense because they all share the same commando helmet but i think that looks really good i love how the visor looks um, the helmet does have a light up feature, but even without that turned on, the paint used still gives it that kind of glowy sort of effect, which I really like. It doesn't look too dead or anything without the light on. Um, and then the gray, and like I said, there's all that subtle weathering that's applied all throughout the figure that looks really, really good. Yeah, I really like that a lot. I absolutely love this helmet design. It's absolutely awesome. To install and also to turn on the lights, he does just have the top part of the helmet is magnetized, just comes off, and then you can it comes with the batteries and you just screw that off and put them in but there's a little switch so i will turn up see how well this works and turn off my light here and we'll flip the switch and you can see the helmet glowing there it looks really really nice um, the camera doesn't do it justice in person it looks even better um, but yeah the light is nice and bright but just but not too bright uh, if you know what i mean i guess and uh yeah i just absolutely love how this looks looks super cool and you turn it on even if you turn it on you can still kind of tell it's on it's not as obviously on not as noticeable but you can still tell it's pretty cool turn it back off i do like how it is pretty easy to turn it on and off uh, i mean that it's magnetized i don't have to unscrew anything to uh 
let's flip that switch. Um, one point of contention with this figure is the shoulder pads. A lot of people have complained, similar to the Black Series figure actually, that the shoulder pads aren't big enough. Um, with this release, they actually have re-sculpted the shoulder pads to be bigger than the ones that are on Hunter and the previous Camino Clone Commando. So I do like that. Um, I'll do a comparison with the uh, Hunter figure, but they are actually bigger. I believe the, oh, I know for a fact the shoulder pads, and I believe also these bicep armor pieces are also slightly bigger as well to give him a bit more of that bulk that he should have. So that's really cool. And I love all the paint apps overall with the great and gray. Great gray and the yellow, I think looks really nice. And the torso there and all the subtle weathering looks really good. The torso is reuse of the Camino clone, but not Hunter. Hunter's torso is different, but that looks really nice. You got that black bit there, the gauntlets. The legs look pretty good. Again, I think the legs are technically a little inaccurate. It doesn't bother, this doesn't bother me. I think they look fine, but it might be a complaint for some people, which is perfectly fine. But for me, I can live with it. But one thing you will notice is that he is missing the uh, anti-armor rounds that are strapped, supposed to be strapped to his thigh. Um, that's a little unfortunate. I do like when he has that because it adds a little more bulk to him. Um, again, inaccuracy that I can live with, but uh, it might be something that really bothers you. So that's kind of up to you. But that is something he is missing. That would have been easy. They wouldn't have had to re-sculpt a new thigh piece. They just would have put have a new piece sculpted and then just strap it on or glue it on or whatever so uh, yeah something easy they could have done that they didn't is worth mentioning but uh yeah there's not too much else to say i guess take the backpack real quick you have some nice detail there as well the soft goods uh, undersuits for all these clones are really well made uh they're nice and stretchy and i don't imagine they'll be easily damageable although you should still handle these figures with care of course Articulation wise, I'm gonna take off the backpack real quick, even though the magnet's pretty sturdy, but you do have a joint in the neck there. You can go look about that high, look about that far down, pivot a decent amount and you can rotate. Shoulders move out quite far. You can rotate them pretty far as well. Uh, there is a rotation there, I do believe. You have a kind of a clicky elbow joint that Oh, if you really push it, and I'd be a bit careful. It's a double joint, though. If you really push it, you can actually get it going in pretty far. So that is quite nice. And then you have the kind of universal wrist joints that go up and down or in and out, depending on how you have it rotated, and they rotate as well. There is a torso joint, but it doesn't really move all that much. You can get a, maybe a bit of twist, but with all the armor and whatnot, it just doesn't move that much. The hip joints are clicky. I don't want to move it too far, but it can go probably about that far easily. You might be able to get it a bit further. I'm just not willing to go that far. It doesn't really go back too much. I think there is a sweat. Yeah, there is a rotation there at the thigh. Uh, you do have, I believe there is double. Yeah, there's double hinges in the knees, and you can ooh, get him pretty close to kicking his own ass. You might be able to do it if you want to push yours a bit further. Um, one thing to note, though, when you're moving the knees, you will have to readjust these uh, knee guards. And then the ankles have the ball joint, so they go down, they go up, they rotate, they pivot. They have pretty good articulation, and the armor will shift out of the way to give you a bit of extra movement. So he poses really well. No real complaints there. Um, we went over the accessories already. I will show, uh, I guess, maybe the pistol. You do have the trigger hand here. And... I will say the trigger hands, they are really tight. Like they're not the super most pliable plastic, which is good in terms of like, it makes the grip really strong, but it just makes it kind of a pain to get the hands actually in, or the weapons in the hands. And I'm a little wary of scraping paint off. These are pretty durable, so I'm not too worried, but still. But you can pop the, pop the hand off. And one thing I like is that on this figure, the joint doesn't come out of the wrist i have some figures where they do that and that's really annoying but this one they don't so that's nice pop that on and then you have scorch with the pistol i think that looks super super cool yeah that's awesome so yeah um the night guess too much else to say aside from maybe moving on to some comparisons i'm not going to show them with like holding every accessory or whatever because 
you know, you don't really need, it's pretty, you know, obvious, you know, he holds a gun. He, you can get really good rifle aiming poses with this figure. It's no problem. He's got the articulation for it. The relaxed hands, these ones here that are already on the figure when he's in the packaging, those are best used to hold the grenades. So you can hold them like that. But like I said, we'll do some comparison. So I guess the first, the main comparison, I don't have the other Camino uh, Commando, but I do have the figure that kind of started it all, which is Hunter. And I really like Hunter. It's a really great figure. So it kind of also makes it the fact that they were used not the biggest deal ever for me. But uh, uh, it might be a little hard to tell here, but you can, I think you can tell honestly that the shoulder pads are a much a significantly bigger uh, they're much smaller on hunter here let me try to see if i can uh let me remove their backpacks just to make this, or at least move his so you may be a bit hard to tell because of the paint apps but uh yeah scorches are significantly bigger like maybe a third bigger like it's not nothing and like i said i do think the, these uh bicep pieces are ever so slightly bigger as well uh, it's a little hard to tell. I do think they are though. And then the torsos are different. And then I believe the rest is the same. But I think they look pretty good together, honestly. But you can see the differences. So I do appreciate that they put some effort into making it a bit more accurate. But like I said, there are still a decent amount of inaccuracies. And then for fun, uh, here he is with the old 2010 three and a quarter inch scorch, which I been one of my favorite figures for a long time and uh, honestly people complain about the uh, shoulders not being big enough and maybe you could argue that the three and a quarter inch one isn't the most accurate either maybe but you look at the proportionally or proportion wise and the shoulder pads on the three and a quarter inch one in proportion like to the scale obviously really aren't much bigger or pretty much the same size as they are proportionally to the uh, pot toys figure um so I think it's really not that bad. You can take a look at the leg armor differences maybe. There are differences here in design, but they are minor. But you can even see even this uh, Hasbro in the corner figure isn't fully accurate. He's also missing the uh, anti-armor on the thigh, but he does have the attachment on the blaster, so. Yeah. And then here is the Black Series figure from, I think, last year. And funny enough, I think the Black Series might be the most accurate official uh, Scorch figure to the game. Uh, he, has, he does actually have the thigh uh, canisters. Uh, yeah, look, uh, it wasn't that hard. He has the thigh canisters. He's got the accurate helmet, or not helmet, accurate uh, backpack. The shoulders look fine to me. He's got the anti-armor version of the blaster too. But yeah. I do like the shade of gray on the Hot Toys better. I mean, obviously it's way more expensive figure. But uh, overall, I gotta say for me personally anyways, even with the inaccuracies, I really like this figure a lot. I hate to say it. It might even be one of my favorite. I don't own like every Hot Toys clone figure ever, but I have a handful of them. I have, and I have a decent amount if you count the Bad Batch. And he might be one of my favorite ones, honestly. I just hate to say it. I just absolutely love the character in the game. And I just think it's so cool we have a Hot Toys version of this figure. Does he have the inaccuracies? Oh, yeah. There are inaccuracies with this figure. And if that's a deal breaker for you, if you can't get uh, around that, then that's totally reasonable. I completely understand. And it's a figure you should pass on. Because if those are going to bug you, you're just not going to enjoy this figure. Um, but... If you love the game, you love the character, and you can get past the inaccuracies, then I would definitely recommend tracking this figure down if you can for a good price, because uh, I really do like it a lot. It still looks super cool. I love the light-up feature. The accessories it does come with are good. Uh, articulates pretty well. It's fun to pose, and it's not like he's got things flying off, and when you're posing them, it's pretty solid. Um, so I'm overall still pretty happy with them. I hate to say it. <laughs> I know uh, some people are not gonna like me like that I'm saying that, but it's just, I like what I like and I like this figure. Um, but if you do wanna get one, um, you can either and go on the wait list on Sideshow and see if you get 
uh, if, it, if the waitlist converts. It's a complete crapshoot, unfortunately. It's all based on who cancels their uh, orders, pre-orders, and if you get lucky. Or Toys Buying Agent, as far as I know, as of recording this video, still has it in stock um, at what I would consider is a pretty reason, I think pretty much around retail price. So I'd pick it up there um, if that makes financial sense for you. It made financial sense for me for being in Canada. I don't know if it makes as much sense being in the States. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, anyways, overall, I really like this figure a lot. And probably one of my <laughs> favorite pickups of the year, to be honest. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. May the force be with you.